North Korean leader, we need to prepare for a nuclear war. North Korea is preparing for nuclear war by intensively building up its strategic deterrent. It is obliged to do this by the recent situation in the sphere of global security. According to the local news agency KCNA, this statement was made by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un during a visit to the North Korean defense industry enterprise, which is considered the leading one. Kim Jong-un noted that the need to build up overwhelming forces to deter nuclear war will have to be even more seriously recognized in response to the state security situation that has arisen due to the reckless machinations of military confrontation on the part of enemies, said in a media report. According to the North Korean leader, Pyongyang needs to prepare for a nuclear war so that the enemy does not dare to play with fire. He believes that having made sure of the full combat readiness of the North Korean armed forces, the enemy will fear a direct military clash with them. Kim Jong-un notes that the nuclear weapon is an effective deterrent to war. During his visit to the defense enterprise, the North Korean leader carefully examined its production activities. The North Korean military also test-launched a ballistic missile equipped with a new navigation system. It was this test that was the purpose of the launch, which was organized by the country's main rocket directorate. The launch of the missile was observed by Chairman of State Affairs of the North Korea, Kim Jong-un. The situation on the Korean peninsula is more dangerous than it has been at any time since early June 1950. That may sound overly dramatic, but it is believed that, like his grandfather in 1950, Kim Jong-un has made a strategic decision to go to war. We do not know when or how Kim plans to pull the trigger, but the danger is already far beyond the routine warnings in Washington, Seoul and Tokyo about Pyongyang's provocations. The Ministry of Defense of Russia reported that it shot down 108 Ukrainian drones, 51 of which were over Crimea, 44 over the Krasnodar territory, 6 in the Black Sea, the same number over the Belgorod region and one over the Kursk region. If Russian military data is correct, this is likely the largest number of drones fired into Russian-controlled regions in one night. As a result of the attack, problems with light began in Sevastopol, and the Twops oil refinery also caught fire. As a result of the attack in Crimea, the Sevastopol electrical substation was damaged, said Sevastopol Governor Mikhail Razvoziev. According to him, while repairs are underway, the city will face power shortages and spot blackouts. Therefore, the authorities cancelled classes in schools and secondary specialized educational institutions, and also stopped the work of kindergartens. In addition, the NetBlocks monitoring service has recorded serious problems with the internet in the city. In the Krasnodar territory, the Twops oil refinery was attacked. The regional operational headquarters reported that a fire broke out at the plant, but it was contained. There were no casualties. The Astra Telegram channel, citing local residents, wrote that the port in Novorossiysk was cut off from power. A resident of Novorossiysk said that he heard more than 30 explosions during the night. In the Belgorod region, a drone attacked a car in the village of Oktyabrsky, said the regional governor, Vyacheslav Gladkov. As a result, a woman and a four-year-old child died. The last massive drone strike took place on April 27 and was aimed at the Krasnodar region. Then, according to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the region was attacked by 66 UAVs, and the work of the Slavyansk oil refinery was partially stopped. The latest shelling may indicate an intensification of Ukrainian air attacks on Russian regions and Crimea against the backdrop of Russia's offensive in the Kharkov region.